Hey everybody, today I want to show you the belly ball crunch. Now, this is a pretty common exercise. However, if done correctly, I'm not sure there's a better exercise for your abdominal core. So, so let me show you just a few tips on how to do the belly ball crunch. You can do a lot of different exercises off the belly ball, but let's stick with the crunch today. So what I want to do is just pretend like I'm sitting in a chair and then I get a good foundation, nice wide feet. The more advanced you get, the closer your feet can come. But if you're just starting out, let's move our feet out to give us some good balance. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll myself out to a lying position on the ball. Now for those of you that are advanced, you can have the ball underneath the top part of your glutes or your rear end. But for those of you that are just starting, the further down your back you go, the easier it might be. Alright, so I'm going to start about halfway. Now, when I do the belly ball crunch, I want to pretend like I'm rolling my rib cage up and over to touch my thigh. I want to keep my elbows wide and I want to keep a tennis ball under my chin. So when I do my crunch it's like this. See that? Range of motion isn't very far. Now if I tend to start going like this or my neck starts hurting, press your head into your hands. So I'm like this. I press back and I'm crunching up. And then breathe. Each rep requires a breath. All right? Oxygen is what helps us abstain from the lactic acid. So we want to breathe. In my videos I talk a lot about breathing. It's very important that you breathe correctly. So again, I'm just here. Now when I'm done, I just want to kind of roll myself up and sit to a, position, to a sitting position. I can just walk myself up. You can do about three sets, four sets, five sets, as many sets as you want, as many as you can do. But don't compromise your form. That's very important. When you compromise your form, you might get injured. We don't want to do that. All right, so be well until next time.